Greetings, this is how I teach you guys. Hayden here. Welcome to another late night live sale this Monday, January 30th, 2023. How's everyone doing tonight? I hope you guys are all doing fantastic. Uh, today is part one of the marathon uh, of um, my uh, journey to a Loewe Howl's Moving Castle bag. So <laughs> tonight's sale is dedicated to that. Um, but I hope you guys are all having a great start to your week. Happy Monday. Um, let's see who's in here. Hi, Topo, Kitty Koi, DG House. Hi. Oh, and if you're watching this video after the live is already over, check down below in the description box. Items availability and pricing will be down there. And send me an email if you're interested or have any questions about anything. Um, but happy Monday, you guys. I have been kind of like working on bags like the whole day i have a bag that i'm working on for my aunt that i was working on last night and i'm not done my cousin's actually here and i had her spend another night um over so that she can bring it to my aunt tomorrow and so yeah that's what's happening it's actually it's christina i think you guys have seen her in a few um videos before so she's hanging out here but hi, Cutie Koi. Hi, Tanya. Hi, guys. I'm starting a little early. I was going to start at 8, and I was like, okay, let's start, like, a little bit earlier tonight. Uh, I forgot that it was a Monday. So I was like, I don't want people to, like, try to stay on too late. So we're just going to go kind of quickly, I guess. Um, <laughs> Kirsten, you already know. It's the struggles. The struggles of the Loewe collaboration i actually saw the prices for one of the wallets and it's for the howl the howl zip coin case card wallet and it was like 420 dollars. so i was like oh, it's just gonna be 420 for that small wallet like i can only imagine what the prices are gonna be for the bags so i'm having a small heart attack but i gotta stay alive till i make that purchase Hi, Lady Badger. How are you? Hi, Nico. Meeker. How are you? And Basto. Happy Monday, you guys. Do you guys have a good weekend? Did anyone do anything exciting? I was so happy that, like, I missed the torrential rain that happened last night. Um, it was, like, kind of, like, raining on and off, like, yesterday. But then once I got home and I was able to bring, like, stuff that I bought inside the house, it just started pouring like, intensely, and I was like, ah, oh, the rain's back, and it was, like, raining on and off like that all night long, and then it was raining this morning, too, but I think that might be it for the rain. Let me see. Let me actually check the forecast and see what it says. Um, oh, I okay, well, right now, it's not showing any rain for the rest of the week. There's still just supposed to be a little bit of rain. Oh, it's actually currently raining right now, I guess, um, but, like, I think tonight's the last night at least for right now but i feel like it's always changing kimberly oh my gosh she had a snowstorm yikes i know cursed is so expensive hi lupe <gasps> lupe i feel like i haven't seen you in so long how are you i hope you're doing well marjorie oh thank you so much i hope i can get one of the puzzle bags. Like, I just want... I think I want this, the orange calcifer puzzle bag. I think that's the one I have my heart set on. It's so cute. And we'll see. Hi, Pauline. Oh, Pauline! I don't know if you um, got my email. I just saw your email uh, about that Tory Birch wallet. So I emailed you back. I'll show it again just in case. Oh, there you are. Oh, you did reply. Okay, you did see it. Yeah, I'll show it. Um, I'll, I'll show it as item number one so I can show it to you. Um, if you want to see that. Kirsten, it's been raining snowing here. <gasps> no way, Kirsten. I didn't even know it snowed in Vegas. That's crazy. <laughs> the live stream title. I know. I'm unhinged. My obsession is real right now. Hi, Linda. How are you? Kathleen. <gasps> Snow and ice over there, too? Yikes. Flooding in Auckland where I'm going to. <gasps> no, Tanya. I hope it doesn't like start flooding when you go on Thursday. Hi, Kathleen. Oh, no, Lupe. Are you feeling... How are you feeling now? Are you feeling better? Have you, like, fully recovered? Or... 
That's awful. I'm sorry. And Boston, you're having bad inclement weather. I feel like the weather everywhere has just been going nuts. Hi, Nurse Jay. Kimberly, negative 30. <gasps> That's so cold. Oh, Kirsten, have fun at Taekwondo. Black House of Raheem Charm or Young Hell Hammock. <gasps> Anne. You want the Black House of her puzzle? That one is so cute. I think that's the size... It looks like a medium, maybe. I think. Like, in the photos, it kind of looks like a size medium. It's so cute. I do love, like, the little jewels on it, too. That's... I think that's my second bag. Like, if I... If, like, for whatever reason, when I get on, if the orange one is sold out, I think I would probably go for that one as, like, my second choice. Hi, Deborah. Oh, Lupe, that's good to hear. I'm glad you're feeling a lot better. My two-year-old gave me dog ribs. <gasps> oh my gosh, I'm so sorry to hear that. Oh no. Oh man. Um, they're not good if they eat like a lot. Um, but I guess, and I think it also depends on how big the dog is, but yeah, I remember that happened before too with Peanut, so, but he like, nothing happened to him, but, um, I remember like freaking out because he was eating grapes and like, he was totally fine. So, but yeah, I, grapes are like not good for dogs. It's like feed, it's like when they eat chocolate. Chocolate's not good either. Though Peanut did eat a chocolate, a tiny little Halloween chocolate once. So <laughs> he's so bad. Nico Mika says you should make the dog um throw up if you can. Oh, if you guys can help me think of a giveaway question too. Okay, so the giveaway I have tonight is so stinking cute. And it is this super cute little dog. That's, like, speaking of dogs, that's also a bag. So it actually turns into this. So it turns into, like, a little shopping bag, which is so adorable. And then, like, the little face just, like, stays right there. Like, it just, like, stays attached. It's, like, um, attached on the inside like that. And then you just, like, fold it up. And then you zip it. And then you can just keep it inside your bag. So this is today's giveaway. It's literally... The cutest. Oh, that's good to hear, Deborah. Yeah. But that's tonight's giveaway. So if you guys could help me think of a question for the giveaway tonight, um, I'd be greatly appreciate. I, I would greatly appreciate it. But isn't it so cute? And you can even like you could probably put like a little clip onto here too, and then you can use it like as a charm or something on your bag so that way you kind of always have it when you go to the grocery store just in case you're forgetting a bag or something so that is today's giveaways that's so adorable i have one for myself i don't know I, I might be keeping this one for me but i got one for you guys but it's adorbs i'm obsessed he's furry Okay. Hi, Laura. How are you? Happy Monday, you guys. Hi, Nadia. B Dream says hi to everyone, too. <laughs> not around the bags, DG House. Not around the bags. Hi, 
Hi, Carmen. Oh, Carmen, I have a pair of sunglasses tonight. You might be interested in them. They're pretty cute. That'll be our second item. I'm gonna do the um, Tory Burch um, wallet first so that Pauline can see it. And then I'll do the uh, sunglasses after that. Oh, Laura, I'm very excited that you're here. Hi, Marjorie. Oh, it's so chilly. Oh, Jean. Okay, let's do that. That's a good question. Is Vadrian? <laughs> no, Vadrian just might. Like, um, we call Vadrian Vadrian. It's like for VA, virtual assistant. I forgot who it was that actually thought of that name. I thought it was really funny. So we kept it. <clears throat> okay, so that is a good question. Thank you again, Jean. And then our link, I will put it right here in the chat. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, where'd it go? Oh, there it is. All right, there you go. Hi, Christine. Melissa, hello. My dog tried it. <laughs> Nico Beaker. <laughs> um, some some puppies don't learn. <laughs> so <laughs> they're the same. Oh yeah, no. John's John's my twin. My unofficial, official, non official twin. Oh, okay, Carmen. Let me know when you're home, so that way I can show it when you get so you have you have the chance to see it. It's so funny. Like I don't think John and I really look too similar to each other, but people always think we're twins, and then so then whenever anyone asks us if we're twins, I always just say yes, and then John just gets mad. <laughs> So, yeah, if you, if people, yeah, if anyone asks. But it's funny because we have, like, family members that will ask if we were twins. And John just gets so annoyed. And I'm like, sorry, John. <gasps> yes, Melissa, Mustard is still here. So I'm actually going to be showing you guys Mustard again in tonight's live. I still have Mustard. I still have ketchup. Um, the red wallet on a chain is no longer available, and neither is one of the red, um, flap, the Chanel flaps. So I only have, this is the only, um, red Chanel flap bag I have left. This is the one with the secret pocket. This is actually, like, one of my, like, my favorite ones from that little group of bags that I got. So nice. I also really like the leather on this one. It's like a thick, like, it's like a really sturdy feeling leather, which is really nice. And it's, um, one of the bags that are, what is this called? Like an accordion style. So it's, if you don't have like too much in it, it sits nice and flat and then it kind of expands to however much you put inside. So I really like that about it. Um, Nico Meeker, yes. Yes, I am. Okay, well, I think I'm just going to get started. I'm seeing all of your, like, messages pop up about, like, all your comments for the, um, for the question. It's so cute. Tofo, I do. It's actually right here next to me, too. So, I still have... Isn't it so pretty? I think it's so gorgeous. <gasps> oh! Can you imagine? Ooh, Valentine's Day. I need to have a Valentine's Day photo shoot. Like all like pink and red bags. <gasps> pink, red, and white. That'd be so cute. Maybe we'll throw in some silver. Pink, red, white, silver. That'd be so cute. 
Okay, I need to do a photo shoot. We're gonna have a photo shoot. Okay. Right, Melissa? Alright, well, let's just get started. Um, I know I started, like, at a weirder time, but... Think, yeah, there's about 66 of you guys in here, so that's perfect. So again, this is tonight's giveaway. It's a little bag that's um, it folds up into a little dog pouch, and this this is what it looks like opened up. It's seriously like one of the cutest things I have ever seen. Even like the gal at the register was like, "We have these," and I was like, "Ah, they're so cute!" And they only had two left, so I had to get them. And, oh, I forgot to put the link. All right, here is that link again, right there. Okay. Right, Melissa, it's so cute. <gasps> that would totally, like, be so cute for you, too. So you got to make sure to enter, because you, you have, like, your doggy daycare, your pet daycare. All right, our first item um, I said was going to be our Tory Burch wallet, and it is so cute it is in a cream colored soft fiano leather and it has like these beautiful flowers um embroidered on and these are it's kind of like in a natural fiber kind of like a raffia kind of thing it just reminds me of like the like the, they do this um kind of design on like bags in the Philippines with the raffia too. And I was just like, that's so, so cute. So I had to get it. It has gold hardware. There also is a little flower here on the back as well. And this one is just, this is what the front looks like. It has more of the flowers. And then it has kind of like a L-shaped zipper, I guess. I don't know what to call that. But then it opens like this. So cute. It's in like new condition. It's super clean inside and out. Um, man, I have my phone hanging over here because I wanted to be able to look at it. But let's see if this fits. Okay. Phone, unfortunately, um, is not going to fit. I have the largest iPhone and I have like a, the, my case on it. A smaller phone would fit. Um, it does fit just like this, but you can't zip it up. But if you had a smaller one, I think it would definitely fit inside of here. But unfortunately, the larger, the largest iPhone 14 is the one I have. That one is not going to fit inside. Oh, the link is broke. Oh, I'm sorry. Hold on one second. Thank you, Anne. Let me fix that. I think I just copy and pasted it wrong. I think I accidentally deleted something. All right, there you go. That should that one should work. Yeah, I put it inside. It was inside of a, inside one of the bags. Not like one of the bag bags, but like one of the plastic bags. But I know for sure it's in there. Sorry guys, Vedrine is currently um, packaging at the same time too. So, we're multitasking. Um, so this is our Tory Birch, Tory Birch Cream. Oh my gosh. Cream Safiano leather flower wallet with gold hardware. And this one was $85. And that's item number one for the evening. And that one's $85. There she is again. So cute. Put her over there. Okay, uh, up next, go to item number two. You're welcome, Anne. <laughs> Thank you, Anne. <laughs> oh my gosh. That Lovemi drop is literally killing me. Ay, ay, ay. Um, our next item. Okay, this one is beautiful. This is a Dooney and Burke. Um, this is like a Florentine, like, hobo shoulder bag. And it's in this beautiful dark navy leather. So this is actually a really dark navy. 
And I am obsessed because the color, um, the contrasting that they use with the edge coat is kind of like a dark, like maroon color. And then we have like this really cool leather stitching across the bottom and the top flap that are in a dark brown. And the straps also have that same detail in them. So it's really, really nice. There's a back pocket right here. Your cell phone definitely fits inside. And the smell of the leather on this is so good. You know, the Florentine leather smells delicious. The bag straps do sit pretty well on your shoulder. Even with like a thick sweater, this will still fit. And just, just like that. Yeah, I know, right? It looks, it looks like it's black. Um, let me find... Oh, here. In comparison to something that's actually black... There you go. I think now I think now it, sh it shows better. With uh, some, you know that artificial lighting, it gets you every time. Sometimes when I'm even looking at the bag, I'm like, <laughs> "What color is it?" Um, it does also have little feet on the bottom and the top flap. It's magnetic, so it has like a magnetic snap. And then the interior has a zipper compartment and then an open pocket there's just slight discoloration at the bottom there's also a little thing of lint right there gross um but it's otherwise like really good shape it's just very minimal discoloration in the bottom um and then it has a key fob as well and also this this style of the bag doesn't have um, like shoulder, like a crossbody strap or anything. If you really wanted to, you can attach them onto the rings of the handle. But I think this one is primarily just supposed to be carried like this on your shoulder. So it's beautiful. This is our Dooney and Burke Dark Navy Florentine shoulder bag with brown leather, uh, Design and brass hardware. And how much was this featuring for this guy? Yeah. Okay, we're gonna do this one for $85. It's gonna be $85. Okay, so that's item number two. Our Florentine for $85. Oh, two? Yeah, Zachary Banks. Surprise, how many people are watching so far? Huh? How many people are watching? How many people are watching? Uh, let's see. 81 people. You want to say hi? Somebody said mine, too. Oh, Tofo's calling can it. I Congratulations, that, Tofo. Gavel. Wait. Can I navigate? Can navigate? Can navigate? Hey, careful, careful. A-E-I-O-U. All right. Congratulations. Okay. Oh, by the way, that's going to be my next. last gavel. I'm going to go. Uh, do you get snacks with your mommy? Yeah. Oh. Actually, I don't know. Go, go, go ask her. I, did they, I think they just got back, right? Yep, I was with them. You're going to have to jump over because... I don't like jumping. Okay, go. Hold my hand. No. You're going to pull me. And I'm not going to pull you. Okay, go. Go. Whoa. I have socks on. So You're like a ninja. All right, up next, we got item number three. Yes. <laughs> Zachary. All right. Uh, our next item, <laughs> Lady Badger. Ooh, Cindy. Oh, when's your birthday again? Zach's cute, right? <laughs> Eliza. Oh, I don't think Eliza. No, he's. He's back already. They came back from the grocery store. <gasps> Koi Pond! Yes! Yes! I need to buy something from the drop that's this week. And I'm trying to raise funds because the bags I know are going to be so expensive. And it's going to be nuts. So, yes. Please support my shopping addiction. <laughs> I need to buy a Loewe bag. I really want um, one of the puzzle bags. And maybe... A charm or a wallet. But Howl's Moving Castle is my favorite. And Calcifer is my favorite character. So I told myself if they ever had like a Howl's Moving Castle club, I was going to buy one of the bags when they actually dropped. Because the resale value of them 
like they never go cheaper than re- than retail like except for the two times that I was able to buy something so I just got really really lucky but it took a couple years to wait oh tomorrow Cindy oh my gosh happy early birthday all right our next item is going to be oh I still have this guy hold on a second ah Oh my gosh, this thing, like, doesn't want to stay anymore. Okay, there we go. Yeah, Melissa, I'm so excited. Um, I still have this guy. This is that uh, Coach Pillow Tabby. And I didn't notice that it didn't have the hang tag. So, it's missing the hang tag, but it is brand new with tags. But it's just missing the hang tag on the side. What happened, Vadrian? Yeah, I didn't notice either. And then I was like looking at where I when I originally got it, and I was like, "Oh wait, it never actually had it." So I was like, "Okay, well, that's my bad for not noticing." <laughs> but it's beautiful. It's like the ombre blue to green, shoulder strap, crossbody. It has the. It's like a brushed silver hardware, and she is brand new. The tags are still attached. All the interior stuffing is still there. We also have the dust bag. Um, I looked inside and I didn't find like the little hang tag maybe like hiding around inside of there. So it definitely doesn't have the hang tag. The little care booklet is right there. And how much is this, Adrian? Coach Ombre um, Green to Blue. Coach Pillow Tabby 26 with silver hardware. New with tags, missing hang tags. So we had it at 275, um, but we, I didn't notice that it was missing the tag. So let's do it for 250. Um, this one's item number three, 250 for our Coach Pillow Tabby in the ombre mm -hmm. color. And that's number three. Isn't it so cute, Melissa? I love the colorway on this. Actually, it matches my shirt. <laughs> so cute. But yeah, I love it. Even like, um, you can even just use a strap on like other bags too. And like the color is just so pretty. So you can definitely like use the straps on other things. So it's definitely like multifunctional. Okay. Ooh, they're so soft, Don. The leather, like that Napa leather, you can't beat it. All right, our next item is gonna be... Uh, let's do this guy. This is a little Kate Spade double zip camera bag. And this is in a, like a maroon leather with gold hardware. Crossbody strap is adjustable. It's not removable. It just has Kate Spade right there across the front. It's a nice pebbled leather. There's the back. There's the bottom. The exterior leather is in great shape. It was just a little squished because it was getting squished by another bag. But it should regain its shape no problem once you start using it. The front zip doesn't have any other compartments inside. And then the back one has just one pocket there. And this is going to be item number four. Hi, Brit! Oh, Kathleen! Don't be sorry at all. It's totally fine. It's your good. Kate Spade uh, double zip camera bag in burgundy pebbled leather and light gold hardware. And how much is this feed rate? Okay, this one is going to be $65. And that's number four. And then number five. Oh, oh wait, no, I was gonna do the sunglasses, but I forgot that. We're waiting for, we're waiting for um, Carmen to come back home. Okay, our next item. Yeah, let me do that Balenciaga, because I think, um, was it Nico Meeker that was asking about it? Um, let me see if I can find it in this giant pile of bags. 
<laughs> the Polly Pocket bag. I have to find one of my... My sister has a Polly Pocket, like... It's like the little house that like folds. It literally looks almost exactly the same thing. Like it looks almost exactly the same as that. Oh, here it is. Okay. All right. This is the Balenciaga, and it is so cute. This I believe this is the size small because there's an extra extra small that's like tiny. I feel like this one's the perfect size because this one fits your cell phone. Standing up or laying down, and I feel like if a bag can accomplish both those things with a cell phone, then it's like the perfect small size. Um, this is in a beautiful black pebbled leather. It's nice and like sturdy too, so it has it'll hold its shape. It has a back pocket, which is fantastic. We have a little lock right here. The key is inside the clochette, so you can remove that key. But it has like another zipper on the other side, so if you wanted to um, lock the handles together or the zippers together you can do that it just has the white balenciaga spell out on the bottom and then you have the embossed balenciaga across the top right there um that's one way to tell like for when they have the like fake versions of this bag because the larger version of this bag actually has like balenciaga with like the hardware and then the smaller bags um are embossed so that's kind of like one way to tell like the fakes, they'll always they'll miss like little things like that. Um, has the crossbody strap. It is adjustable and removable. And the interior of this bag is in great shape. It just has a zipper pocket on the back, and there's an open pocket in the front. I'm sorry, it's so dark in there; it's kind of hard to show. But it's nice and clean. The bag is in fantastic condition. Um, I just it just doesn't have like a dust bag or anything like that unfortunately but the bag is wonderful there's the bottom it does have um it's kind of like like a scratch or more like an indentation right there uh i haven't had a chance to try to see if i can get it out i might be able to even it out but you really only see it under a certain like angles and it's on the bottom so you're never really ever going to see it but this is going to be item number five okay how much favoring unveil small domed satchel with gold hardware and this one was 950 but let's do it for 900 tonight we're going to take off a little bit because we're trying to buy a Loewe bag. <laughs> okay, so that was... Huh? I know, Linda, isn't it early? I was going to do it at 8, and I was like, I'm going to try to do it a little bit earlier. So, I'm actually... Okay, I actually changed the time on the actual video to earlier. And then I actually started later than the time that I set it to at the earlier time. But I'm still earlier than the original time, which was at 8 o'clock. So... I think I'm technically still early, but I'm also still late at the same time, of course. <laughs> but yeah, so that's that guy, a little Balenciaga bag. Up next, we got item number... Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, it's Sydney's birthday. Oh, you know, everyone say happy birthday to Sydney, just in case um, we don't get to say the happy birthday to her tomorrow. So she's here right now. And in the Philippines... Today is tomorrow. So. Okay. Oh, Carmen, you're ready for the glasses. Perfect. Okay, so they're going to be item number six. All right, Carmen. I have... This is a pair of Gucci sunglasses. And they are so cute. They don't like, um, they have like the little Gucci um, embossed right there on the side. And then it's a tortoise shell. And then the bottom part of the frame is clear. And I love that it actually has the little nose pieces on here too. I feel like sunglasses that have like the nose piece are so much easier for me to wear. So this is how they look on. They are really good size. And they have just like a plastic frame and uh, silver hardware. And they're in really great shape. It has a like an ombre brown lens. But this is how they look. They're fantastic. 
Ooh, Linda. I can't wait to see it. Okay, so these are our Gucci um, tortoise shell sunglasses with silver hardware and brown gradient lenses. And these are how much for Okay, we're going to do these for $100. So that's going to be number six for 100 And these are for the Gucci sunglasses I'm currently wearing on my face. <laughs> Beautiful. And, oh, Hipatia called it. Oh, no, Carmen, Hipatia is so quick. I'm sorry about that. Oh, and Shoe Diva. Ah, I'm sorry, guys. But congratulations, Sabatia, you called that one first. Gucci sunglasses. Okay, up next, um, I'll just do another pair of sunglasses. I still have these. I, someone needs to get these because they are so cute. These are Celine sunglasses. They're in like a, kind of like an opaque red. So you can kind of see through them just a little bit. This is how they look on. They're just too small for me because I don't like it when my eyebrows show because I think they're crooked. So then when I wear sunglasses, my eyebrows look crooked, like more crooked if they show. So I think this is the, the one that's like a little higher. Or maybe my face is just crooked. I don't even know. But they're cute though. Okay. Um, these are item number seven. Red um, acetate Celine sunglasses with gray lenses. And then the hardware on these are, it's both silver and gold. The little studs are silver. The writing is in gold. And this is old Celine. So the Phoebe Philo Celine, which is, I feel like is the best Celine ever. And how much are these, Adrian? Oh, Shoe Diva! <laughs> right? They're so cute. Wait, what, Petrine? Okay, we're going to discount these. We have them for a hot second. So, we're going to do these for $95. And that's going to be item number seven for our Celine sunglasses. Right there. Oh, the gavel's over here. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot to give you a gavel, Hibatia. Okay, so up next, you got item number eight. And for number eight, I have... Oh, my wallet fell. Suddenly see more. We were watching um, the Ariana Grande Carpool Karaoke, and they were singing that, the song from Little Shop of Horrors, I think is what it's from. And now it's, like, stuck in my head. Like, I can't stop singing it. Um, Shoe Diva, kind of? Kind of, yeah. The Kochis were so cute. I was kind of sad that I never bought any of them. Uh, but it's okay. I really like the yellow one. And the blue one was so cute. Uh, this is that Vivian Westwood backpack. And this is in canvas, and it has leather trim. Um, it's also leather on the bottom, which is nice. So, beautiful. I love, like, the print. It's, like, really cool and like, modern. It has uh, fabric back straps, and they end in leather, and they're adjustable. This has antique brass hardware. The bag's top flap has little buckles that open. And here is the interior. It's in this kind of like patchwork fabric. And there's just one interior zipper uh, pocket right there. And then here's like the giant Vivian Westwood tag. It's Vivian Westwood. And it says, I think it says Anglomania. Yeah. Oh, it's made, made with love in Kenya by the ITC's Ethical Fashion Project. <gasps> oh, that's cool. I didn't even notice that before when I was looking at it. So, this was made in Kenya. That's awesome. Yeah, it's a beautiful backpack. It's a really great size. This will fit a 15-inch MacBook Pro. And 
yeah, the canvas is in great shape. It's super clean on the inside. It kind of has, like, I don't know if that's actually supposed... Like, the print itself just looks, um, like, aged and kind of, like, worn. So, like, as the bag wears, um, I think it's just supposed to, like, look even more worn. That's kind of, like, how it's supposed to be, I think, so. But that is number... Hi, Purple Rain! How are you? I can't wait to see um, Ariana as Glinda in Wicked. It's going to be so good. Okay, so this is our Vivian Westwood uh, canvas and leather backpack with antique brass hardware. And how much is this, Adrian? Okay, we're going to do this one at for one forty-five, And that's item number eight. Hi, Ed. How are you? All right. Up next, we got item number nine. Isn't that so cute? Love this backpack. Um, our next item is going to be this uh, super cute coach wristlet wallet. And it's in this really pretty, like, what color is this? It's like a... Like a, like a foresty green color. And it has these like different shaped studs. And some of them are like kind of like jeweled studs. It's really cool. And they're in brass, gunmetal, green. And then like the jewels, which are kind of like a yellow tone. Uh, this has the wristlet right here, which is removable. And there's a back pocket. And that's lined in leather. And this flips open like that. And then the interior, also in leather, it's a beautiful tan color. There's a front pocket right here. Then there's a larger compartment. This will fit your cell phone. And then there's a change pocket. And then the main compartment in the back. And there's two built-in card slots back there. So, really cute. You can also attach a crossbody strap to this. It has D-rings on both sides. It doesn't have the long chain, but it will come with the wristlet. And you can remove the wristlet, too, if you wanted to just use this as a wallet. And it's really, really cute. Right, Kathleen? It's beautiful. Ed, no, you have not missed a lot at all. I think we're only on item number nine. So we're not too far in yet. Hi, Style Chat. How are you? And this is our forest green pebbled leather coach wristlet wallet with... Oh, Coach 1940. Thank you, Style Chat. Style Chat with the info. But coach 1941. Clutch. Thank you, with um, assorted stud details. And how much is this, Adrian? Okay, we're doing this one for $75. That's going to be item number nine. Okay. Uh, up next... Oh, I forgot to write this one as well. Which one was it? What happened, Vaderin? Oh, with Prairie Rivets. Thank you. Okay. You know, I have thought about that, and I honestly do not know. <laughs> People still carry around their bags. Um, I think... I feel like secondhand, it's okay, because you're not technically supporting the brand at all, but you are still carrying their products, you are still showing, like, that you have the bag, but a bag's a bag, and... <laughs> Alright, up next uh, is number 10, and let's... Oh! Let's do this one! Okay, this one is so gorgeous. It is this beautiful Kate Spade. So pretty. I love, like, it kind of looks like that, uh, what is it, the Fendi bag that you can, like, stitch, like, stuff on. It's really, really cute. And it's in this beautiful floral 
motif, or it's more like a, it could be like a tapestry style, right? And it has um, antique gold hardware. It has a buckle, like magnetic clasp right here. And opens up, it is in like fantastic condition. It's like new inside of there. It's in a gray microfiber. There's a front pocket. And then inside there's one pocket there and there's another zipper pocket in the back. And yeah. And there's also a pocket here on the back as well. The crossbody strap is adjustable. So you can um, make it longer and then it also doubles up and you can wear this as a shoulder bag. Oh, okay. So this um, this bag is called the Katie Autumn Floral Needlepoint Bag from Kate Spade. This one is still available available on the website also, which I think is really cool. And its retail is four hundred and twenty. It's currently on sale on the website for three hundred. So this is item number ten. This is our Kate Spade Floral. Oh, number ten. Granny core, yeah. Floral flap bag with uh, antique brass hardware and black leather trim. And how much do we have this one for, Vadrian? Yeah. Okay, we're gonna do this one for two seventy. Okay, that's item number 10. All right. And then 11. Oh, hi, Boots! Oh, you had an op optometrist. How was your optometrist appointment? So cute. I love this bag. All right, our next item is going to be... Hi, my sister's keeper. Oh, I got an alert on Twitter saying that NASA discovered a crater on Mars that looks like the face of a bear. Oh my gosh, it really does look like a face of a bear. This is dangerous having my phone right here. If I'm going to show it to you, I want to post it. This is like a cool photo. I just saw this on Twitter pop up right now. Oh, it doesn't want to send to me. Okay, my phone's being difficult. Never mind. I think it froze. Oh, there it is. Okay. Alright, there you go. <laughs> it honestly does look like a bear. They discovered real Akuma up there. You know, it's true. A lot of like, I feel like almost every brand has had like some sort of crazy something. Um, I mean, Chanel herself was very, uh, what, we, what, we say, what would we say? kind of um, very, what word would you use? Controversial in her viewpoints too, so. All right, up next. Agreed. And the company that owns Balenciaga owns a bunch of other designer brands too. So it's kind of like, do you stop buying from all the brands too that the company owns or I don't know. But I mean, I don't, I only plan on buying something from the web right now. From re I haven't bought anything retail in 5 million years. Also, I bought these Tic Tacs. They're like the berry adventure ones. And I thought they would taste like nerds, but they really don't. So I'm kind of sad about it. But my favorite Tic Tacs are the orange Tic Tacs or the, uh, I think they're either Pepsi or Coke flavor Tic Tacs are really good too. All right, 
Yeah, so, I don't know. I wonder if Loewe ever had any scandals. I hope not. Because <laughs> I love Loewe. This is our next item. These are Rag and Bone Boots. Little booties. These are size 37. They have about um, a 2 inch little heel. Just black leather. They're in great shape, like, all around. Um, yeah. Silver hardware. This is, like, what the little buckle detail looks like on the side. And <laughs> thanks, Shoe Tifa. <laughs> it's so so bad. That little little bubby bags have me like in a stronghold. Okay, so these are black um rag and bone boots, size 37. Bone boots, size 37, with two inch heel. And we're going to do these for, let's do these for $40. Right? These boots are really, really cute. I think I've had this bo these boots a couple different times. And I feel like they're almost always a size 37, too. Okay, let's just set those guys right there. Um, oh, Marjorie's calling number 11. Congratulations, Marjorie. Oh, you're going to be so fashionable in these boots. Congratulations. Yay. Very excited. All right. I'll set the over here. Oh, I also, I am having another sale tomorrow. I don't exactly know what time yet. Um, but Anne was, like, I was talking to Anne earlier, and I was like, I should do, like, a marathon, like, an all-night, like, live sale marathon. And Anne was like, yeah, you should go until the sale for Loewe opens up, and then you can just buy the bag during the live. And I was like, if I could afford it. So, I don't know. That sounds kind of fun, but I don't know if I'll be doing that. But... Yeah, because I don't know what time the pre-shop or whatever, like, opens for Loewe. Like, I don't know if it's going to be, like, at midnight or, like, at 5 a.m., 7 a.m., 8, 8 a.m. or whatever. So it's kind of, like, going to be up in the air. But um, if I can go live or I am live during it, I will do that. Otherwise, I'll let you guys know. Maybe I'll try to film it. Uh, what happened, Patron? Oh, Marjorie, yeah. We can ship it together um, with your other order. I'm just not going to be able to get the shoes out to Vadrian until later on this week. So if it's okay to wait a couple days, we can ship it all together with no extra shipping. Until the last viewer drops. <laughs> First time viewer, Randall, man. Oh, thank you so much. Welcome, Wrecked Up. <laughs> I know, Judy. Um, they're gonna send an email or something, so I have to um, like you have to like wait for the email with like the link or something because I actually saw some people posting screenshots already online, and I don't know if like other people got like earlier um release times for the items, maybe like bloggers or whatever, maybe, and they were like. I saw one screenshot for one of the wallets. Oh, and what happened? Cody. Oh, no, Cody. The Balenciaga is still available if you're interested. Tofo. Vadrian, did you ship out Tofo stuff yet? Vadrian's going to check to make sure it wasn't shipped out today. If not, we can definitely ship along with your other items. Um, but let me check my Instagram. I'm sorry, I got sidetracked. Instagram. Alright, let me see. I want to see what you found. Uh, 
Oh, I have to go on my app to look at it. It doesn't let me do it on my computer. Oh, nice. Is it okay if I show them um, in the live what you found, Carmen? Let me know if it's okay and I'm gonna pop it up on the on the screen because you found some really cute bags. Those are some really great Tories. Okay, yeah, Tofo, Vadrian says that uh, we still have your stuff so we can ship out um, all your items together. Um, the white coach or Vadrian, did you know, um, do you see what Carrie said? Okay. Yeah, Carrie, Vadrian says they're shipping separately. So the coach already shipped out before the, um, the Louis Vuitton. So yeah, your Louis is going to go out tomorrow, but your coach has already been shipped out. So you'll have two separate, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. And Vadrian says that the label's already made for your Louis Vuitton bag, which is going out. So you might have the tracking number already in your email so you can start tracking it. Um, okay, let's see. Okay, Carmen, let me post that really quick. These these are the bags that Carmen found today. These beautiful... I think they're all Tories, right? You found um, two of the... Uh, what are the names of those totes? I can't even remember anymore. Um, but those tote bags are super duper popular. And then uh, it looks like a little crossbody in the brown and the white. Hi, Edie. Yeah, how are you feeling? Are you feeling okay? You recovering? You are you recovering well after your surgery? Oh, that's good to hear. Okay, Carrie. Oh, that's exciting! I can't wait to see the unboxing. Ooh, Carrie! Can't wait to see. Oh, Hepati! I'm so sorry. I must have missed it. I get so much crazy email that it just, like, gets lost. Wait, Hepatia, I didn't get it. Can you maybe, can you possibly send again? Um, I don't think, I don't see it. Yeah. Uh, oh, the Loewe tank, yeah. Oh, Patton's really in this year? Ooh. Thank you, um, thank you, Apatia. Yeah, if you could just send it again. Like, I, I don't have... The last email I got from you was, like... January 8th, so everything else is like just like labels and or um invoice stuff. Okay, up next, let's do yeah, Carrie Loewe is like crazy this year, especially with this collab. I feel like Howl's Moving Castle is one of the like people's favorite um movies from the me from Miyazaki so I think it's gonna be huge this year and they just had like a price increase at the beginning of the year too so everything's just like even more expensive right now so I'm just like ah all right our next item is going to be number 12 Uh, my cozy nest with Rebecca. No, Rebecca, if you um, see anything that you like, or you can send me an email if you like, that way I have your info already. But if you see anything that you, that you like, it, just like it says here, just I type the item number, the word mine, and then send me an email with the item that you purchased, the item number and description, and then we'll send you an invoice at the end of the live, and it's a PayPal invoice. 
And if we could just pay that within 24, 48 hours. Um, and also, we can ship up to five items with your order if you're within the U.S. So you only have to pay that $15 shipping for five items. So that way you guys can save on shipping. Oh, Kathleen, it's okay. Um, Vadrian will get that for you, and then I'll send it over. Might have some silver. Oh, I do I have any silver bags? I have a silver Mark Jacobs drawstring bag. I think that might be it, though. It's silver, like magenta is going to be really popular. Um... Okay. I forgot my number around. Okay, 12. <laughs> You're welcome, my cozy nest with Rebecca. All right, our next item. Oh, I still have this guy. I'm, like, obsessed with this bag. It's so cute. This is the Tory Burch. It's, like, that Lee Radziwill, um, small, like, mini, uh, like, satchel tote. And this is in a cream and black gingham canvas fabric. And it is so adorable. We have the golden brown leather trim to go with it. Uh, polished gold hardware. And this front pocket opens up. You have to undo the belt. And then there's a compartment right there. There also is a back compartment as well. And then the main compartment is split into two sections. Um, there's two built-in card slots in the back right there of that one. And these are actually snaps up top. So you can actually snap the top shut if you wanted. So I think that's a really nice um, feature for this bag to have. And this is in like-new condition. There's no marks on it. It's super clean and so adorable. A uh, cell phone does fit inside of here too. I have the largest iPhone so that'll fit inside perfectly. Uh, oh, Kathleen, it's so, yeah, just, that's no worries. I don't want you to go to have to walk through all the ice and stuff to do that, so. Yeah, no, I, that's what I said, Adrian. Okay, uh, this is our Tory Birch. Also, I can't hear you. Tory Burch Gingham uh, Lee Rads. How much is this feature? Well, mini tote bag in canvas and leather. Wait, what did you say? Okay, this one is 300. Okay, so that's that. That's item number 12. And then number 13. Oh, lucky number 13. Oh, you guys are going to like this one. This is in honor of the Loewe Howl's Moving Castle Club. <laughs> this backpack is so cute. I'm like already crying at how cute it is. Okay, um, this is a super cute... Totoro. It's not Howl's Moving Castle, but it is from Miyazaki. So, it's the Howl's Moving Castle um, backpack. Or not Howl's Moving Castle. Totoro backpack. I have Howl's Moving Castle on my brain. Uh, it is so cute. It has a little, the little cat bus on the front. It has the little girls right there with the little soot spirits. On the side, you got the Totoro trio right there. And then on the other side, you just have a little Totoro um, medallion hardware. And... Right, Melissa? I love them. And it's so cute. Okay, also, the best part about this bag is that... Okay, are you guys looking at it? Hold on, let me see if I can do this without lugging. Um... No! I'm losing... I'm lo the mystique. Okay, one, two... There you go. It's little the little cat's eyes light up just like in the movie, and it is so so cute. So this backpack is pretty much in like new condition. There's no stains or marks 
um, inside or out. You have a front zipper pocket. You have two side pockets. And then in the main compartment of the bag, this is the little part that you use to turn on the lights. And it has a battery. This just has like a little pocket built in. And there's a zipper pocket back there. And there's another open pocket just underneath that in the front. And then the back straps are adjustable. But this is our little Totoro backpack. It's so, so cute. It's a good size. I would say it's a like in between a small medium or maybe just like a medium. It's pretty, it's pretty big. So, so cute. And right, like, are you dead? When I bought it, I already saw it. I was like, I have to get this. It's the cutest little backpack. Okay. And this is item number 13. So this is our Totoro Light Up Eyes Cat Bus Backpack. Um, and this is just, um, this is coated canvas. So it, like, it looks and feels like leather, but it's coated canvas, just like Louis Vuitton is. Um, how much is this one, Beatrice? Okay, we're going to do this one for $65, and that's going to be item number 13. I know, the light-up eyes are so, so... Oh, yeah, Kathleen, it'll definitely fit your phone. <laughs> oh, Melissa called it! Yeah, Melissa, your daughter's going to love it! Congratulations! Ah! Yay, congrats! Oh, my gosh, I'm so excited. Okay, got to turn the eyes off, because got to save that battery... Uh, so you gotta tell me how your your daughter likes it, because this is the cutest backpack ever. Ah, uh, obsessed. Okay. Set that guy over there. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, I know. Everyone wanted I'm so sorry, you guys. Uh, Melissa called that one first. She's so quick. It's the cutest backpack ever. Oh, I wish I had one for each of you guys. All right. Um, next up, we have number 14. And for 14, let's do... Oh, I still have this little Chanel wallet, if anyone's interested. This is that pearlescent, or that pearlescent. This is um, iridescent pink caviar leather Chanel phone wallet. And this will fit the largest iPhone 14 inside, but without the case. So without the case, it fits in there perfectly. It has gold hardware. We have five built-in card slots right there in the back. And then the top uh, opens up like that. It does have some marks in the interior. I'm going to try to clean it out more, but they're not like anything crazy, but there are a couple marks in there. The little uh, serial number is right there, the little serial number sticker. And this one is made in France for anyone wondering where that one's from. And this one was how much, Adrian? Adrian. Oh, okay, I'll I'll keep a lookout for any Hello Kitty. Okay, this is our pink Chanel caviar iridescent uh, cell phone wallet. How much, Adrian? Was it eight fifty? Okay, this one's eight hundred and fifty dollars. Collab with H and M Kids, and I had to go shop. Oh, Hibatia, yeah, that that collection's really cute. <gasps> Ed, did you? The Lee Rads, the Lee Radzibo mini bags are so so cute. Hibatia, yeah, I haven't, but I think my sister and my mom did because they like to buy those, uh, like when they have like those collabs and stuff. They like to get them for the boys. So, they, I, I think they might have seen it. Okay. Uh, hi, Sophia. And Fanny, hello. Okay, 15 is up next. 
Okay, so that was our Chanel wallet. Next up, I have a vintage coach. This one is made in United States. Uh, here it is. This is a like little crossbody messenger bag. It's super cute. I love this. Uh, is this the British tan? Is that the name of the color? Um, the bag is in pretty great condition. Um, it just has like some minor rubbing and discoloration on the corners. And, you know, just like regular signs of wear. But this bag is probably older than I am. And it's looking really, really good. It has a nice large back pocket right here. And this... Top flap is magnetic. And then inside you just have one interior zipper pocket and the Creed is right there in the front. And there is also a front pocket right here. This also does have the original hang tag attached and this one is an adjustable strap as well. So this is number 15. I know, Sophia, how are you? It's nice to see you. Thank you for joining us tonight. Um, okay, how much was this to be This is our brown coach. No, cross body flat bag with brass hardware. And, oh, also I forgot to show you guys this. It does have a couple pen marks. I don't know if they're going to show up that well on camera. I tried to lighten them up. So they're not as dark, but there are... Can you see there's like a mark like right there? Um, there are like a couple little pen marks just right there. But they're not really noticeable anymore. But you can still like see them. But they're not as dark. I don't know. They don't show up on camera that well for some reason. But they are there. Okay. How much was this, Adrian? Okay. This one's going to be $60. Oh, shoot, do you have this one in black? Okay. Uh, well, I think Carrie's... Oh, Carrie, you called it too early. But let me know if you still do want it. Because I don't want to... Um... Oh, yeah. Okay, actually, let's see. Oh, man, Style Chat. I'm sorry, Style Chat, you called that one first. I'm sorry, Carrie. Style chat called that one right before you. But I do have another bag that's kind of similar to this one. That's also Vintage Coach. Um, so that one is going to Style Chat. Congratulations. And then 16 is up next. Let me do the other coach that I have that's like kind of similar in style. Um, this is the large Dinky, right? I think that's... I don't know if it's still called the Dinky, but this is the larger version of the Coach Dinky, and this one also still has the original hang tag. Um, also in a similar color, but it's a different shade. So also like in a tan, but this one is a lighter color. There's a back pocket. Um, front, we have the turn lock. Inside, unlined. There's a front pocket right there. And this one is made in, I think it's Costa Rica? This one, no, this one's made in China. So this, I think this is like right when they first started making these bags in China. Um, there's a zipper pocket and then hang tag. But it still um, is like the unlined ones. But these were like the last ones that they made before they started lining the bag thing. So um, this one's in good shape too. It does have some rubbing and some like, discoloration like a little bit of lightning a little bit of darkening in some of the corners but still a beautiful bag oh thank you tanya it's the city bag oh boots it's because um she called it before the item like the number was shown so i have to follow my own rules with that one can't call it until it's um listed up on the chat okay so this one's 16 this is our tan coach city flat bag with brass hardware 
uh, vintage made in China. And this one's how much, Adrian? Okay, we'll do this one for $65. And that's item number 16. Okay, and looks like Carrie called that one. Congratulations, Carrie. Glad you were able to get one. Yay! Oh, I'm sorry, Shoe Diva. Carrie got that one right before you. You guys are quick on these. Love those vintage coach bags. All right, up next. Oh, I still have this vintage coach. I guess we'll do vintage coach. There's also this one. I still have this one left. I had that white one before, but this is the tan version. It looks like a Dooney, but it is a vintage coach. These are made in USA. Um, I already forgot the name. I feel like Tanya always has to tell me every time. Um, but when you open it up, it has a middle kind of like divider zipping, or divider pocket, not pocket, dividing piece. It's like just leather and fabric. And then there's one zipper pocket here in the back. Um, this one is made in the United States, and yeah, it's nice and clean on the inside. The exterior is also in great shape. It just has minor, like, rubbing, like, in the corners right there. There's a nice big back pocket as well, and it does also still have the original hang tag. It's right here. Okay. Okay. Sheridan, thank you, Tanya. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Okay, so how much was this, Adrian? This is number 17. How, okay, uh, 17. This is our tan coach Sheridan flat bag. Vintage made in USA. And we're doing this one for 70, uh, $75. That's number 17. Coach Sheridan. Okay. 18. Oh, Carrie's calling it. Congratulations, Carrie. This one's going to you. Yay. Got two vintage coach bags. Woo. Love the vintage coaches. All right, up next, we got number 18. And I have, oh wait, I have like a really cute, it fell all the way over here. All right, this next bag, this is the Dig and Voltaire. Um, little satchel, and I had the green one like last week, and now I have it in the blue. So it is super duper cute. It has silver hardware. It's just in this beautiful blue leather. It has this zipper detail that goes all the way around the bag, and it actually helps expand it by about like two inches on each side. So. It does make a lot of room in there if you want to add more items. Otherwise, you can just like zip it up or whatever too. Uh, so you have that. It has a little Zadig and Voltaire uh, hardware right there. On the other side, it's just embossed. We have the top handles. Crossbody strap is adjustable and movable. And then the interior. Oh, does come with a dust bag right in there. And the inside just has one little zipper pocket right inside of there and it is nice and clean in the interior my sister's keeper oh my sister's keeper call in item number one and that was our tory birch wallet congratulations my sister's keeper that one's going to you our little tory birch wallet congratulations that's this guy Oh, I lost it. Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. This one. Oh, yeah, agreed, Carrie. What happened, Vadrian? Oh. 
Okay, sorry about that, you guys. Um, yeah, but here we are. The bag is in really great shape. The exterior leather doesn't have, like, any rubbing or marks or discoloration, really. I think the only little thing is there are a couple little, like, marks just, like, right there in that corner. Um, otherwise, beautiful little bag. So, so cute. I love the size, too. It's like the, a speedy... Um, what size would this be? 25? 20? 25? It's almost like that. Oh, my sister's keeper, that was a mistake. It's okay. Thank you for letting me know. That's no worries. Okay. So the toy, work, toy brush wallet is still available. If anyone's interested, this guy right there. And this uh, blue Zedig and Voltaire. Okay, blue Zedig and Voltaire satchel with silver hardware and this bag. Yeah. Okay, this one is going to be 160 Yeah, right, Boots? It has a top handle. Which is awesome. We love the little pop handle cross body combo. So you can carry it a bunch of different ways. Okay, so that's item number 18. Oh, Hibati is calling it. Oh, Hibati, you got the green one last week, I think. Congratulations. Oh, okay, never. Are we canceling it? <laughs> no worries. But I think you did get the green one last week, right? That one is so cute. That was a good green. Okay, up next. Is gonna be number nineteen. And let's do um uh, oh okay this one is this is uh the same style of the satchel that um Lady no, it was Linda. Linda Lobster. This is the same Claire Vivier satchel that you purchased, but this is in a different like leather and like uh variation of that bag i think it's called the simple tote and this one is in a tooled leather with like a floral design this is all black leather it has these beautiful like woven braided leather top handles and then we also have a shoulder strap right here and this has uh antique brass hardware the interior has one little open pocket right there and it does have a couple pen marks and discoloration at the very bottom of the bag but mostly in the like the corners so it's you don't really see them um but yeah the exterior is in fantastic condition and i think this is one of our most popular like bag silhouettes it has a magnetic snap across the top as well and this one is what number of adrian is 19 okay so this is our um black what was it again um claire vivier oh my gosh claire vivier uh simple tote and black tooled leather and antique brass hardware and this guy is how much, Adrian? Huh? I think a while ago. I can't hear you, Adrian. Okay, this one is one fifty-five. Okay. Yeah, it's a really good size. I feel like. I don't know if it's my headphones that are being weird. Okay, up next, we got number 20. That song is still stuck in my head. I'm literally still singing it. Okay, this is Mustard. And this is in, this is the, I don't know the exact name of this, but it looks very similar to the Spirit backpack. Um, but this is clear up top, which is, I mean, I thought it's honestly so cool. 
Oh my gosh, I had my volume all the way up, and that was so loud. <laughs> and silver hardware, um, the bottom, like, zips open, so you have that, like, for items that you don't want to, like, um, be visible up top, but it is so stinking cute. It has silver hardware. It also has a yellow enamel around the CC um, lock at the top. Open it up, just like that, on the interior right there. A little uh, Chanel patch is in there. And then here's the interior of the bottom. There is some slight discolorations to the interior lining. Um, I will try to clean it out further, but that's kind of what it looks like on the inside. And it does have two um, zip zippers to open up the bottom. And oh, the little sticker is right there, too. Right there. All right. It is such a cute bag. Like, it's definitely a vibe. Clear bags are also very in this year, but I feel like they're always in. And I love this size of this bag, too, because it does have the longer, like, little strap right here. So this still, like, turns into the back strap as well. But when it's longer, you can just still carry this also, like, on your shoulder. So you can kind of still carry this one as a shoulder bag. You don't have to carry it as a backpack. So this is item number 20. Our yellow Chanel mini backpack with... Um, clear top and silver hardware. And this was how much for for this one? Okay, this one is 3000 but I'm going to do a special discount for the Loewe sale. So this is $2,850. <laughs> and that is item number 20. Fadrian just gasped intensely. <laughs> okay, so that's number 20. <gasps> that's all I hear. That was, like, pretty loud. I'm surprised they didn't hear you. <laughs> Sometimes you can hear the baby when the baby's screaming, but the, you're not babysitting tonight. Where is the baby? I miss the baby. It's very soothing to hear the baby screaming in my ear when I'm doing the live. <laughs> it's so cute. Such a vibe. Oh, I love it. Just, like, I love the one-shoulder backpack look with this size of the backpack, especially because it's clear. I don't know. It's given all the vibes for sure. Is these. I love this bag so much. I should probably keep that one forever. I know, Vadrian is shuck style chat. Okay, 21 is up next. P.S. Did anyone watch the new Teen Wolf movie? John did not like it. <laughs> that was kind of funny. But the way that they made the movie was very, like, it was exactly the same way they made the TV show. So, like, they didn't use, like, the most advanced special effects and stuff. And John was just like, well, what is this? Like, why does it look like it's from, like, the 90s? And I was like, John, that's, like, the charm of the movie. But Christina liked it, and I liked it. So. And Vadrian also liked it, right, Vadrian? Adrian did also like it, so. This is our next item. This is a Marc Jacobs collection. Um, it's actually a triple zip pouch. It has one, two, and then three. So there's three different, like, little pouches. This little first one right here, just, just like that, on the interior. And the one behind that has some built-in card slots. And then behind that, there's just one open pocket. And... Yeah, so this one also is convertible. So you can wear it as a shoulder bag like this, or you can extend it and wear this as a crossbody as well. So then, got it like that, which is super cute. Um, Teen Wolf is on Paramount Plus, Dawn. Oh, also, the first episode of Wolf Pack, which is, it's not like a continuation of Teen Wolf, but it's in the same universe as Teen Wolf. Um, that also came out the first episode, and the second episode are out. 
So you can watch the two episodes. Not me being a commercial for it, but, uh, yeah. I like the TV show, though. The TV show is pretty good. Oh, no, I do want the, I do want the Loewe finding Soles. <laughs> so if someone buys that backpack, all that money is going to go towards the Loewe bag. Okay, so this is, um, our pink triple zip, uh, Mark Jacobs collection uh, bag with and this has light gold hardware and this is how much food right okay this is a hundred and twenty five should we do a little discount on this one um okay let's just do this one for a hundred dollars that's gonna be item number twenty one <laughs> I know. I need to sell all my Chanel bags so I can buy one Luave bag because they're so expensive. Okay, 22 is up next. How cute this is. I love like a good like little envelope bag. Our next item, since we're talking about Chanel's, is this one right here. This is item number 22. This is the Chanel that has a secret pocket on the side, which I am obsessed with. It doesn't fit the largest iPhone because it doesn't zip, but anything smaller than the largest iPhone will fit in there and you can zip it up. But you can definitely like put like your wallet or whatever inside of here and like zip that up so that you don't have to like open up your whole bag to get like a wallet or something. You can just put that in there. Let me see if, like, sunglasses fit. Will sunglasses fit inside that pocket? Okay, sunglasses don't fit. That's kind of a bummer. I wish sunglasses fit in there. But it is a pretty nifty pocket. I feel like I've never seen any other Chanel bags with that feature before. So that's pretty exciting. Uh, this is in, like, a burgundy leather. It has silver hardware. And this is an accordion style. So one, two, three... We got pocket right here in the back as well. Turn lock opens up. And here is the interior. So you have three compartments. Uh, the first two are just compartments. The back one has a zipper pocket in there. And interior is in pretty great shape. Um, it's a beautiful bag. You can wear this one as a shoulder bag. Or you can extend it. And then you got a crossbody. Ooh, actually, this color combo is pretty nice. It's fetching. Why is this sweat? The way my sweater is so long, it looks like I'm wearing a dress. <laughs> Am I wearing shorts underneath? I don't know. But yeah. <laughs> this one is... Uh, and they're so expensive. Okay, so this is our Chanel... Um, accordion, flat bag, and I'm going to say it's like a raspberry maroon color, silver hardware. Oh, okay, Carrie, I'll show that right now. Um, how much was this one, Adrian? This one is 2800 Love note pocket. Yeah, Carrie. They they moved it over to the side. So it's actually more usable, I feel like. Uh Carrie, I'll show you that one right now. This this guy right here. It's the uh, Mark Jacobs, right? Here's that Mark Jacobs. So it's um this is kinda like a ballerina pink. And then this is almost like a Like a mauvey lavender gray color. And then it has light gold hardware. There's the back. So we have this zipper compartment right here. And then one zipper, two zipper. The first one has five built in card slots in the interior. And it's nice and clean in the inside of all the compartments. Uh, and then there's just a slip pocket back here in that third compartment in the very back. So, that's that guy. 
Valentine's card pocket. But I carry the absolute lowest I can do on this one would be 2500 Would be like the lowest. I'd probably be just breaking even. So you can have it for 2500 if you like. I'm desperate for the love of it. <laughs> Okay, let's do... Oh, hi, Squishy! Hi, Kirsten! Welcome back! How was Taekwondo? Was it good? Did you learn a new Pumse today? I don't I don't think I remember any of them anymore. Maybe the first one. I feel like that one might be ingrained into my brain. But other than that, I don't think I have it anymore. I can still do a couple kicks. I can do, like, a roundhouse. Sidekick. All right, Carrie, just no worries. Oh, I also do have this one since I'm showing off all the Chanel's. I have this guy right here. This is that little phone bag. So cute. This one also does come with a little, um, the card and all of, like, the little care booklet thing inside of there. But this is a little phone bag. The largest iPhone does not fit. The regular-sized iPhone will fit inside, but it does, like, stick out at the top a little bit, so it doesn't fit all the way in there. But this one is in light new condition. It's in a pearlescent blue with silver hardware, and then it has three, like, compartments on the interior right there. And it is a really cute bag. And you can also adjust, like, wear it as a shoulder bag as well. So you can double up the straps and then carry it like that also. Oh, that's exciting, Kirsten! Okay, this is number 23. This is our pearlescent. Oh, yeah, Carrie, um, sure. I'll actually see if I can fit all my stuff in there. Um, blue Chanel phone bag with silver hardware. How much was this phone bag, Beatrice? Okay, this one is fourteen fifty for the little Chanel phone bag. Okay, let's see. Where did I put all my stuff? Okay, let's see what we can fit in here. Let's, uh... Ah! Let's see what fits inside here. So, I have... We'll fit my wallet right there. And then... I have my sunglass case. You can fit there in the front. This is my thing with my keys inside. So you can put that in there too. I have a cute little like pill case. We can stick that in there as well. So it just expands, which is really nice. And then it still just closes super easily. So it still has a ton of space inside. Um, this is my little key case right there. See so if it's that in the interior. Um, I have another little case. This has like extra batteries and stuff for my camera. And then I feel like that's pretty much like everything I usually put inside my bag. Oh, here. I have my AirPod case. So pretty filled up. I have stuff in all three of the compartments. And then it kind of looks like this, expanded. And it still just closes with ease. And then that's how that looks. Like that. And then when you wear it crossbody, it looks like this. Like that. It does fit like a ton of stuff. I'm telling you the accordion bags are where it's at. Because I feel like they actually will hold 
more than just like the regular bags because I have um, like my Chanel bag that's just almost the same exact size does not hold all this stuff inside. So the accordion styles hold a ton more and then when you're not carrying as much stuff, they compact really nicely and it's not like, you know. So it does hold a ton and that's with all this stuff inside. Oh, Tanya, that's amazing. But yeah, doesn't it, like, I can probably still fit more in here. Like, I literally only have my sunglasses in that front compartment. And, um, what else can I put inside? I don't think I really have anything else that I normally put. Oh, I have, like, a chocolate bar that I was going to give to Elizo. I can fit that inside. Right there. <laughs> and I have my little... Gudetama pouch. I love Gudetama. <gasps> Look at the way Gudetama sticks out at the top. He's so cute. Beater. <laughs> Let's see if this will still fit. Okay, I don't think Gudetama fits. He's kind of awkward. But the candy definitely fits. But it's so big. Like, it just holds a ton. It's very deceptive how much this bag holds. So we got the chocolate bar, sunglasses, two pouches, pill case, AirPods, wallet, and key case. And that all fit inside. And then when you have not that much stuff, it just is nice and compact. I don't have the card, unfortunately, Carrie, but the Chanel card, or the Chanel sticker is right there, and this will come with a certificate of authenticity as well, but I just don't have the, um, the original Chanel card for this one. Only the little blue phone case that I have one for it. Oh, Marjorie, I forgot the phone. That phone definitely will fit, though. <laughs> so I have my phone, like, up here. I'm using it as, like, another screen. Okay, up next... What number are we on? Gudetama! Isn't he so cute? I collect these little pouches. I What do, like, what do I not collect? But I also have my little calcifer pouch at Gudetama. I also, if you guys watch Naruto, he has like a little frog change purse. I have that little frog too, but it's lost. I don't know where I put it, but I also have that one somewhere. Okay, up next. Exactly, right Kathleen? You can't go wrong with a little snack in your bag. Has anyone ever tried these though? They're the birthday cake Kit Kats. I got it for Eliza, but I, like, Eliza loves Kit Kats, but I just wanted to try it, and I, I know I will eat this whole thing and then regret it, so I was going to give it to him and then have him just give me, like, a little piece. Uh, okay, so we're on 24 next. All right, next item. What do I? What do we have next? Uh, let's do. Okay, this is a Mark Jacobs. Ah! This is a little Mark Jacobs satchel, and it says like a fun color block. So it's black, cream. It's tan on the sides and the bottom. So, like, all three sides are tan. And cream, the front and the back are black. And then you also have the tan handles and then the crossbody strap. It has a little lock and key detail. The lock doesn't come off, though. Like, this is purely decorative. It doesn't actually unlock or anything. Um, the interior lining is really fun. It's in leather and it has like the Marc Jacobs monogram in the inside. And 
it has a middle dividing zipper pocket. This is the only pocket in the bag and it's uh, lined in fabric. But the rest of the interior of the bag is in leather. And we've got top handles, crossbody strap is adjustable and it is removable as well. And it's just a cute little size. This will definitely hold your cell phone. You got a nice little front pocket right here. Even the lining of the pocket also has the Marc Jacobs uh, monogram in the interior and it's really fun. Oh, 2500 Carrie. If you could do 2500 I'd pretty much just break even on the bag. And it's yours if you can do 25 I'm desperate for that Loewe bag. <laughs> Carrie, I will. <laughs> if I can find another... I've never seen those before. I was at a Walgreens randomly. And... Um, I found I found that chocolate and I was like, oh my gosh, I have to try it. I love um, birthday cake flavored things. I don't know why. So how much is the Marc Jacobs fader? This is number twenty four. Marc Jacobs, uh, color block, satchel. Oh, I'm going to, yeah. And it has gold hardware. Okay, let's do this one for $75, and that's going to be item number 24, our Marc Jacobs little satchel bag. So cute. I want to see more desperation. Hi, <laughs> Pat. Right, yeah, the kind number 24 is yours. All right, Carrie, I will. Um, okay, what else? We're on number 25. Let's do... Oh, I have this super cute Madewell. Um, this is... Oh, that's right. Never mind, hold on. I actually have a wallet coming in that's the same exact collection, so I wanted to do a two-for-one special on it. So we'll show that one probably on Saturday, I think, is when I'm going to get that wallet in. So we're going to wait on that, but I'll show you guys like a quick preview. It's this one. I've had this before, but I'm going to get the matching wallet, and I wanted to do both of them together. So we'll wait for that wallet to come in. Um, oh, I have a large tote. And this is, I think this is from Anthropology, right? Or no, is it? The Mercado Tote? Bedrian? Bedrian? Is this from Anthropology? Do you remember? I don't remember. Maybe it's not from Anthropology. But, um, I just know that these totes are like over a hundred dollars like online but this is a really cute little tote bag it's in this like canvas it's black and cream striped and then these are little tassels they're actually like in the inside and then you like tie them together to like kind of close up the bag on the interior but it is so so cute the brand is called Mercado Global. There's one interior pocket right there. Um, it's nice and clean on the inside. It still has the original tag attached to the handle. And the straps are a pretty good length. So they will sit nicely on your shoulder and carry it. Oh, it's okay, Carrie. <laughs> what do you see, Adrian? Oh, okay. Online, these um, the retail price for these totes are one hundred and eight dollars. So this is number twenty six. Our Mercado Global Cream and Black Striped Tote Bag. And how much are we doing this for, Adrian?
Let's do 35 for this. $35. If anyone's interested in our Mercado Global Tote. And that's going to be 35 for number 25. Right, Kathleen? It's a nice tote. It's a great everyday bag, too. Nice, lightweight. And it's like a nice, like the fabric is actually like a really nice. And I think it's double lined too. So it's like nice and thick. Our next item is, oh no, I don't remember this. I'm gonna give this to my mom. We have, Oh, I forgot to bring this to get the little thing taken off, Adrian. <laughs> but it's okay, I have the receipt, so. Oh! Tory Birch! It's stuck to everything. I have this super cute orange Tory Birch mini crossbody bag. Oh my gosh, how did that happen? Okay. Orange Tory Birch crossbody bag, and it's, like, in an oval shape. Uh, super cute. It has this really fun, like, stitching that goes across right here on the top, and it's also on the back as well. We have the crossbody strap, which is adjustable and removable, so you can just use this as a clutch if you wanted, and there also is a really fun tassel charm on the side, which I believe, yeah, this is removable if you wanted to take it off. You can even put it on something else as well. And zips open it just has three built-in card slots on the inside this bag is in like new condition there's no marks on it at all inside or out and i love this orange color it reminds me of the orange of the calcifer bags from loewe it's all i can think about it's really bad this is our next item Hi, Norma. Oh, what happened? Oh, and yeah, the backpack did sell, uh, sell Kirsten. Oh, yeah. You know, I think it is. I was looking it up. Vadrian was looking it up right now, too. Uh, where is it? Online, Vadrian? It's on um, Box Lunch. So if anyone's interested in that tote, it's about the same price. Just a little bit more expensive, I think. Uh, the, the backpack that with a Totoro, no, not, yeah, the Totoro backpack with a cat with the light eyes on box lunch. Okay, so this is number, something just like flew into my eyeball and now I'm having like allergies. Um, <laughs> this is our orange Tory Birch round cross body bag with gold hardware. <laughs> I have been wanting that bag forever, Linda. Like, I've been dreaming about it even before I knew it was happening. Okay, so, um, 26, our orange, Tory, and this one is $95, and that's item number 26, and then 27 is up next. I know. Oh, yeah, guys, our, um, there's a bunch of people in here right now. We're doing giveaway tonight, and it is for this super cute little dog pouch. And the pouch is actually inside it, and it opens up to look like this. So it's really cute. You can, like, attach it to your bag, too, if you wanted. So you always have, like, an extra little shopping bag with you if you need one. So it's really fun. This turns into this. And this is our giveaway. I'm going to leave the giveaway link in the live chat it's just this morning's youtube video so head over there leave an answer in the comments of that video and then at the end of tonight's live we're going to be announcing our giveaway winner and our question is what is your favorite thrift store so let me know down below oh also i did a i did a little video with goodwill today for um goodwill treasure hunting so if you guys want to go check that out it's on my instagram as well as well as the goodwills we did like that collab thing on there so the post is like the same if you go on either one. So 
It's pretty fun. Um... Yeah, this is just a little bit more expensive than what I had it for. <laughs> okay, up next is yeah, Norma. You should buy one. <laughs> it's so cute. They're they they're uh, on sale. Okay, twenty seven. Oh my gosh. Uh, let's do... Oh, Linda, you know, let me see if it's still there. I don't think it is anymore, though. I don't remember seeing it anymore after that. Yeah, thanks, guys. Yeah, go check it out. It would be greatly appreciated. Actually, I, mean, um, I think I can put up a link to it. Right here. Let's see. Do I even know how to do that? Ah! Oh, here it is. And how do I link it? Copy link. Oh, okay. This is the link for um, that reel that I did for for Goodwill. Okay. What number should we go to tonight? Like 35? We're gonna go to 30. 30 or 35? We're at 26. Let's go to 30. Adrian's like, let's go to 30. <laughs> oh, thank you, Linda. Making reels is hard. Short form videos are, I don't know, for me they're harder to make than like a regular YouTube video, but that's because I just, I'm so used to it. And then just making it like so condensed is like a little bit difficult. Um, oh, that's what I was looking for. I was gonna give that to my cousin. Okay, our next item for the night is, oh, I have a little Madewell satchel. And this is the drawstring. I don't know if it's still the transport, if it's like the drawstring transport, or like the official name of the style is, is of this bag. But it's super cute. It's in this like peacock blue color and it has little drawstrings on either side, top handle, crossbody strap, adjustable and removable, antique brass hardware. Inside is unlined and it just has one zipper pocket. Uh, this guy is in pretty good condition. It just has minimal like a rubbing on the corners like nothing really like noticeable at all and i love the color like this shade of blue is really really pretty and this is marjorie yeah no worries Vader, we're gonna cancel the boots okay all right up next we have Item number, oh, that's 27. So this is our, how much is this one, Adrian? Okay, so this is our um, peacock blue made well small drawstring crossbody bag with antique brass hardware. Oh, I, yeah, I love that mustard color of that bag. Wait, we just said 65, Adrian? All right, sixty-five dollars. <gasps> Kirsten, I have to see it. I bet it's super cute. Box Lunch has some really cute bags. Okay, so that's twenty-seven. Sixty-five. Okay, twenty-eight is up next, and. Let's do... Oh, I still have this little Loewe bag. This is that little square one in this metallic, um, like... I want to think it's like a champagne, metallic champagne gold color. It's really pretty. Um, 
there is a little bit of rubbing like around on the piping, but still looks pretty good. Here's the back. There's a little mark right there. I don't know if it shows up too well because it's like so metallic, but it's just like a little mark. And there's an open pocket right there in the back. There's a fun tassel on the zipper pull. And then the interior just has one pocket. It's right there. And the interior is in a pretty good shape, except there's a couple small pen marks at the very bottom. Looks like someone might have put their pencils in there or their pens in there vertically without the caps on or something and kept left a couple little pen marks, pen dots inside. Uh, this also does have silver hardware, which I think is like kind of cool. It's like a champagne gold with like lights with silver hardware. So, and under certain lights, like it looks silver. It kind of has like a shift almost. So it's like silver, gold, silver, gold. Um, phone doesn't fit into this one, unfortunately. I think I tried that last time, but it just fits kind of like standing up. Like, like that. So, unfortunately, it doesn't fit. Maybe, like, a mini might fit. Uh, let me grab my... Oh, I lost that other little case thing that I was using for reference. My reference case is missing. Yeah, I think, like, a mini would fit inside here, but the largest iPhone definitely does not fit, unfortunately. Oh, really, Kathleen? Pacheco? Oh, Pacheco's so cute. Okay, so this is our um, champagne gold Loewe small square crossbody bag with silver hardware. And this one is how much featuring? This one's $285. We're going to do a little discount tonight for, for the love of Loewe. Let's do two forty-five. <gasps> that crazy V-dream. I do too, Linda. It just like looks like a pretty design. Most people that see that are probably like, ooh, what's that? Okay, so that's number twenty-eight, two hundred and forty-five for our little Loewe crossbody bag. Up next, twenty-nine. Uh, the crossbody shop for this one is adjustable and it is removable too. So you can actually remove the strap as well if you wanted. Okay, up next, uh, let's do ah, all this. Oh, I have another vintage coach bag. I forgot that I had this one. This is uh, this is like a it has like a metal like, bendable metal pieces inside there. So, like, when you open it, like, you can feel the metal. I don't know if that makes sense, but you can, you can hear it. There's, like, a mechanism. And then it just shuts closed like that. This is a vintage coach, black leather. Um, I forgot what it was called, but it had, like, a pretty simple, like, that. Like, I forgot what Tanya said. But this is made in the United States. And it's unlined inside. Um, vintage. And it is, it's missing the cross, the, not the crossbody stuff. It's missing the little hang tag. But other than that, like the bag is in pretty um, good vintage condition. The leather is so soft. Look how shiny it is. It still looks really, really nice. What are you doing? Oh, I think it's the frame bag. That's what it was. Frame bag. Uh, the made well. Yes, I will, Bond Adventure. I'll show that one next. Okay, so this is number 29. This is our black vintage coach frame bag made in USA with antique brass. Wait, what did you say, Richard? This one's $65. And you have to be strong. We're waiting for the Loewe collab to drop. Okay, so that's number 29. And then 30. Wait, that was 29, right? Yeah. 30 will be our Madewell. 
We're going to go to 35, just because it's for Loewe, but I'm going to go fast. So, Adrian, I'm sorry. This is our Madewell camera bag. I love this color, golden brown. It has a front pocket right there. Crossbody strap is adjustable and removable, so you can just use this as a, la a large pouch or even like a, a makeup or like dop kit type bag. And we have a zipper right at the top. Interior is unlined. So you just got one interior pocket inside of there. And yeah, it's super clean on the inside. The exterior just has like light marks. But honestly, sometimes you when you buy these bags, they already have the marks on them like that. That's what this leather does with use. And it's really, really cute. Nice and clean. There's no like major rubbing or signs of wear or anything like that. Um, and that is item number 30. This is our golden brown leather Madewell camera bag with antique brass hardware and crossbody strap. And how much is this feature? What did you say? $60. And that's item number 30. And then 31. Oh my gosh. Oh, did I, sh I showed you guys my Loewe Dumbo shirt, right? So I guess technically they did do like a Disney collab because Loewe did a Dumbo collab and there was even like a bag. But I, I was able to get one of the t-shirts. I still haven't washed it. So I, <gasps> I have to wear it on the day of the release. I hope it fits me. I still have no clue if it fits. I haven't tried it on or anything. Um, right, Kirsten? It's really cute. It's a beautiful bag. Okay. So that's that one. Uh, I have to, you want me to go get it? I want to show it to you guys again. Hold on, I'm going to show you guys the shirt. Ah! Wait, what's in here? Oh, how I forgot about this. What's this? Oh, I have another thing, okay. <laughs> this is the shirt if I if you guys didn't see it when I showed it the other day but I got this Loewe Dumbo shirt it's just like this light pink and then it has Dumbo on it and it just says Loewe on the back I'm so excited yay I hope it fits I don't know I feel like it might be a tight squeeze it might be like a little burrito or something but that's that yeah okay yeah Kirsten I will I'm gonna have to like wash it tonight so I can wear it I still can't believe I got it um I almost like bought the same shirt someone was selling it online for I forgot how much it was and it was like a size extra small and I was like I'm just gonna buy it but I remember it wasn't, like, super expensive. And I was like, I really want a Loewe shirt. Um, our next item, though, is this super cute rag and bone crossbody bag. It's in, yeah, rag and bone. It's in this, like, light nude pink. Like, this is, like, more of a nude color. And then the trim is, like, in a really light pink. So it's very similar, but, like, has, like, a cute little contrast. Um, it has a little strap right here inside so you can remove the strap and use this just as like a pouch or a clutch and you can attach it the crossbody strap also is adjustable so you can adjust the length I really like the hardware too on that strap it kind of reminds me of like I think it's Alex that makes that like a really cool belt but here's the bag it's in really cute, good condition considering it's a really, like, light-colored bag. There's very minimal um, marks on the corners. I think even with my handy-dandy eraser, I think most of it... Oh, yeah, a lot of it is coming out. Um, Benny, which one was that, Adrian? Do you remember what coach it was? Um, let me check really quick. Fanny... I think it's still, I don't think it's sold. Did I? 
I honestly, like, I'm really bad. I don't even remember what was in the video. And I just edited it, like, I filmed it, I filmed it, like, last night. Um, but Vadrian's checking. <laughs> this is going to be a screenshot. How much is this one, though, Vadrian? There's, um, no exterior pockets or anything. Um, the interior has three built-in card slots in the back. And... Yeah, it's in pretty good shape inside. I think there might be, like, minimal discoloration at the very bottom, but it's not even easy to see. You kind of have to look really hard to see it. Oh, Fanny, yes, that one's still available. I'll show that one next. I totally forgot about that one. Okay. And this is our light pink uh, rag and bone crossbody bag with silver hardware. And this one is $65. $65. That's number 31. And then 32 will do that coach bag. Um, okay, so number 32 will be the black coach. So that's our rag and bone right there. And our coach bag, this one does come with a dust bag. And here she is. She is beautiful. It's a smooth black glove chan leather. We have the little hang tag right there. There's a back pocket. It has brass studs all around. There's one back pocket. And this has a little snap right there in the front. There are a couple little marks just around the that snap. Probably from trying to open and close the bag. But nothing too crazy. It's not like out of control right there. Uh, inside it is lined in a microfiber in a dark brown. There's a middle dividing zipper compartment, and there's just one pocket in the back with a little snap right there. And yeah, that's the bag. It's beautiful. The strap is really nice too. You can use the strap on other bags as well. And it's a good size. There is a crossbody. Um, I don't think I think I tried my phone in here. I don't think it fits. Yeah, phone, unfortunately, does not fit inside of this bag at all. Yeah, it kind of just, like, sits like that up at the top. Um, if anything, you can stick it in the back of the bag, but it will also still stick out at the top. But it will at least, like, fit there if you really wanted to go hands-free and just throw your phone inside. But that is the only place to actually, like, be able to carry it. Uh, and this is our black coach, um, smooth glove tanned leather flap bag with antique brass studs. And this is how much feed rain? Okay, this one is $200. That one's number 32. Then 33 is up next and let's do oh this is the other um bag that i had um this is a little vintage coach dinky and this one is made in the united states um i believe this one's also navy is it navy? Yeah, this is navy. My eyes are like playing tricks on me. Navy Coach Dinky. It has brass hardware. A little crossbody strap. It's missing the hang tag. So just know that it's missing the hang tag. Um, it's really cute though. The leather is in pretty good shape. There's like minimal rubbing on the corners. Uh, I know that if Tanya got her hands on this, she would dunk this and it would look literally brand new. She is amazing. If you guys don't follow Tanya, she is our resident coach expert and she is like the queen of coach rehabs. Um, there's the interior. There's one interior zipper pocket right there. And the little creed is just stamped inside. And this is going to be item number 33. And this is our 
Star, Navy Blue Coach Dinky Vintage Made in USA with antique brass hardware. And this is how much we drink? Okay, this one's gonna be $80 for the Coach Dinky. Oh, there's Tanya. Yeah, you guys gotta give her a follow. Actually, let me put up her Instagram link so you guys can give her a follow because Tanya is literally amazing. Um, oh, here we go. Okay. Okay, this is Tanya's link for her Instagram. You guys have to give her a follow, please. Oh, Carrie's calling this one. Congratulations, Carrie. This one's going to you. A little black coach dinky perfection. They'll go with your, um, I forgot this, the name of your other bag, but it's like the larger one. <laughs> All right, up next um, is going to be 34. And right, Kirsten? Her, Tanya is the best. So good. Okay, 34 is up next. And I have... For you guys. Uh, oh, was I gonna keep this one? Okay, I was gonna keep it, but if anyone's interested, I'll just like we'll let it go. Okay, this is um an away tote. I don't know if you guys know that brand away. They make like the really fancy luggage that is really popular right now. Um, this is one of their large leather totes. And it is in this really thick black leather. The tote straps are really nice and long, sits nicely on your shoulder. I think you can also kind of like fold this over and kind of like carry it like that as well. So you can kind of carry it as a clutch also, which is really cool. And it has like this little kind of like thing to, or you can also use this too to attach to your luggage, like, which is probably what it's for, but you can fold it over and use that as a clutch too. But this will um, hold on to your luggage, like your rolling luggage, onto the, this handle thing. So that way your toe doesn't fall over. So you have that. And the interior is unlined. So it's just suede in there. There's a zipper pocket. There's an open pocket. And then also does have a little um, key fob right there. And all of these are removable. So you can remove the key fob, you can remove um, the pocket thing in here and use it as a clutch. It just has little snaps on the interior. And yeah, the bag is in fantastic condition. It just has the magnetic snap up at the top. And this is our away tote bag. There's the bottom. The bottom also is like reinforced too, so it doesn't get saggy. So the bottom is nice and structured. But the leather on the bag is super thick, like, it might look floppy, but when you, like, set it down, it will just stand up by itself. Okay, so this is... Right, her, she is so good, Pauline. Yeah, everyone definitely has to give Tanya a follow. Okay, so this is our black leather away tote bag with silver hardware. And this is... Okay, this one is $100 for our Black Away tote. Yeah, oh yeah, I'll do a recap at the end once we get to... Uh, oh, wait, did I skip 33? Oh no, that was the dinky. No, no, wrong. I did. I just forgot to put it. And then 35, our last item for the evening. What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? One more. Uh, let. Oh no, I turned off my light by accident. It's okay. Um, 
Oh, hold on. I think I have something that I can do. But I have so much stuff everywhere. Everything's like a hot mess inside my room right now. Um, let's do... Oh, I always forget that I still have this. Let's just do this because I always forget. This is like one of my favorite totes ever. This is um, a Kate Spade tote and it's in this green and like cream canvas. But it's like not like, I think it's like a nylon canvas. It's not like a regular fabric. So it's like synthetic because this is like a beach bag. So that way it's easy to clean off stains and stuff on it. So I, I'd never even noticed that until right now. It is like a, it's like a nylon canvas. So it has like a coating um, to help protect it. And then it just has this really fun uh, little co Kate Spade sun. What happened? I don't think so. Someone asked about it, but then it did so. To who, what, what name is it? I don't think it's sold. I remember someone was asking about it. And it was on, they only wanted it if it was um, like a coated canvas. Well, I don't know. I still have it. <laughs> I mean, it was a while ago because I haven't showed it for a while. So you would have come across it in the invoices. That was a while ago. That was like two weeks ago. Sorry, Vadri and I are having words about this bag. <laughs> but it's super cute. Um, leather on the bottom in this bright green. It's in pretty much brand new condition. It zips across the top. Interior has a lot of compartments. There's two big open pockets and a zipper pocket in the back. I like the little sun too. You can also um, put this charm on, on like other bags. And I think it's really cute. It just... I, it's, <gasps> if no one buys this, I'm putting this charm on my Loewe, on the Loewe um, hammock bag that has the clouds. <gasps> that would be so cute. I'm actually going to get it in a second and put it on there. Um... So this is number 35. This is our Kate Spade Cabana tote in cream and green um, stripes with green leather trim. And the hardware on this is, I think it's silver. Yeah, it's silver. Whoa, silver. Oh, the Web Van Sanrio would be the cutest. Okay, and this is $85, and this is our last item for the evening. And then after this one, I'll do a little recap right now, too, of um, the items that we still have. Okay. So it's 35 Man, now that I, like, that I thought of that sun charm on that Loewe hammock, I'm just like, that would be the literal cutest. Okay, we have pink Chanel flat bag in pearlescent pink. This one didn't sell, right, Vaden? The Black Coach? This is the Black Coach frame bag right there. Um, we have this orange... Tory Burch oval crossbody bag with uh, antique brass hardware. And then we have this peacock blue Madewell uh, little satchel tote right there. Then this beautiful black coach. Okay, I canceled the Dooney from before. Yeah, Tofo! Um, that one was... What number was that one? Oh, that was number... Eight. That was the first one. Okay. Yeah, that was item number two. All right, Tofo. And you said you wanted to do 34 instead. And that's the away tote. Right? Okay. So 
So that one is going to Tofu. So Adrian, make sure you got that in your notes. That's 34. Tofu's calling 34. She canceled the Dooney and Burr. So congratulations. Tofu on that one. That away tote is amazing. So got that. We'll put your away tote with the sold items. And then so this Dooney and Burke is still available if anyone is interested. This one was item number two. And this one was $85. So if anyone's interested in this guy, this Dooney and Burke is still available. Sorry, I squished it with all the other bags. And this one's the navy. And this is that Florentine, um, like, hobo tote bag. Beautiful. That one's still available. And then our Tori is still available. This is in the gingham um, natural kind of like cream and black gingham. Oh, excuse me. Uh, we have our red Celine sunglasses are still available. And our coach little wristlet wallet in this beautiful forest green. Our yellow Chanel backpack, also still available. Oh my gosh, can you imagine this cute little charm on here that's also yellow? The only thing is it's kind of hard to get this little charm off. Not me trying to take this charm off so I can put it on this other bag. This is a mission term of this thing. This is not something you want to do all the time. Okay, this is hard to get off. This could take me eight years. I'll do that later. Okay, so we still have that available. Are you eating hot Cheetos? Someone's gonna have stomach issues later. We have this Kate Spade. So this one's like one of my favorite bags of the evening. I love this bag. A little tapestry. Uh, we still also do have this Vivian Westwood backpack. Madewell camera bag. Our black Claire Vivier simple tote bag. I'm almost done, you guys. If you guys want to get the movie ready. And then Kate Spade camera double zip bag in burgundy. We have our beautiful coach ombre bag. Our Balenciaga. Pink Rag and Bone. Lueve um, Gold Mini Bag. How much for the tapestry case? Um, how much was the tapestry case, baby? It was like two. It was two, two seventy. 270 Kirsten, $270 for that one. We, we still have, uh, this is the Mercado Global tote bag. Uh, how much was the tabby beater? Zadig and Voltaire satchel, 250. Was the tabby? Ta the tabby was two fifty, Kirsten. Um, I still have, and the dig was one sixty. I have this pink Chanel iridescent wallet. Um, can I trade the Tory I paid for the middle camera bag? Uh, yes, Cindy. That's fine. We'll switch that out. So we'll do this one, and then we'll yeah. Vader, just make sure you take a note of that so I don't forget. Um, the Chanel accordion bag. And then Marge Jacobs. Chanel phone bag. Ooh, blues. And last item, this was our Tory Burch wallet. And that is it for the evening. I'm going to leave the link one more time too for our giveaway. 
So if you haven't had a chance to enter, I will leave that right here. And then we're going to announce our winner in just a quick moment. And our question is, what is your favorite thrift store? And our giveaway is that really cute little dog tote bag. And I'll be back again tomorrow, you guys. We're going to do like a selling marathon. I don't know what time. I'm ending it right now, John. You guys can get the movie started. What happened? Hello. You wanna? You know where the website is? Oh, here it is. I already, I already pulled it up. All right, you guys. <laughs> we were gonna watch a movie. That's what they're asking about. Um. Okay, where's our little thing? Oh, thank you, Linda. Yeah, I'll see you. I'll be back again tomorrow. Um, I don't know what time exactly, because my cousin is still going to be here tomorrow, so we're probably going to hang out for a little bit still, too. But... <laughs> if I do, yeah. He's hanging out with my cousin and my sister right now. They're get we're gonna get they're getting ready um to watch a movie. We're gonna watch something right now. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna um so let's pick our winner. Oh you're welcome, Kirsten. Adrian, you are just munching down on those. <laughs> John needs to come, when John comes to say hi, he needs to sell. <laughs> Alrighty. Okay, so that's, um... Oh, you're welcome, Tofo. Yeah, we'll have the invoices also sent out. Within the next 15 minutes. And, um, let's pick our winner right now. My gosh, this thing is, like, being the most, of course. Oh, and also, if you guys can give the video a thumbs up, that always does help the channel immensely. I would greatly appreciate it. And we're going to pick the winner in three, two, one. Do, 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 do. All right, looks like our winner tonight is Anne. Congratulations, Anne. Your favorite place to thrift is Crossroads. When I have time to act, or when I have access to one. I love Crossroads too, Anne. Congratulations, Anne. You're getting our little doggy shopping bag pouch. Um, we will send that out to you. Um, but yeah, thank you guys again so much for hanging out with me tonight. You guys are the best. I am one step closer to my hopefully future Loewe X Howls moving castle bag. Hopefully Calcifer. Um, I'll, t I'll see you guys again tomorrow. Um, again, I don't know exactly what time. Maybe sometime between 6 and 8 is going to be the start of it. Uh, what else? What else? What else? Um, and if anyone's interested in anything and you're watching this live after it's already over, check down below in the description box. Items availability and pricing will be there. And send me an email. All right, you guys. Um, I love you guys all so much. Oh, you know, and <laughs> all right, you guys. Thank you guys again so much for hanging out, and I'll see you guys all in the next one. All right, good night, and Kathleen, Hipatia, Jean, Kathleen, the Fizzbot, Dodo, Bertania, DG House, Tofo, Fizzbot, Linda, uh, Cindy, Kristen, Shirley, Tofo. Uh, Tanya, I think I'm saying all these names over again. Bonaventure, Pauline, uh, everyone. If I didn't mention your name, I'm so sorry. But I love you guys so much. I'll see you guys all in the next one. All right. Good night, guys. Have a great day tomorrow. Bye. Adrian also says bye. Bye, guys.